Good morning, good morning. It's two o'clock in the afternoon, so it's not morning. Uh, yeah, it's two o'clock in the afternoon. We're just getting our day started because Sundays, am I right? What? Then singing, uh, your eyes are the size of the moon. Oh, it's two in the afternoon. Gotcha. I think it's supposed to be it's five in the afternoon. But today we are getting ready to have some friends over and barbecue and grill and like all around hang out because it's a Sunday afternoon. Like good times. I got some bratwurst. I went a little crazy. I got bratwurst and I got metwurst, which is like another type of sausage, which is really good. I got some cookies to make. I got potato salad and uh, yeah. We're gonna have a little grill out. Good times, good times. That moment when you're cleaning up and you find all kinds of books that you didn't realize that you had. Actually, our friend let us borrow this one right here. It's like the history of Epcot Center and how it was built and everything. Then we had these. So the Universal story, it's not the story of Universal Studios Amusement Park. It's the story of Universal Studios, the film, uh, film company. And then two books on Disney animation. So it should be pretty awesome. I like how they both have the exact same front to them of Pinocchio walking by. Like, oh, this I... frame and this frame are exactly the same. <laughs> I didn't notice that. Yeah. Oh, ding dang. I feel like they're not as cool now. They probably are still cool. Let's see what's inside. Open one up and oh, oh, look, there's my four-leaf clover. Oh, the one I opened it, opened it up right to that. Wait, didn't we get this in Ireland? I don't know if I got it in Ireland. I remember finding it and then pressing it in this book. But yeah, there's a four-leaf clover that I found one time. Pretty big, too. Yeah. But yeah, right on the flower page. Oh, it's perfect. Perfect. Flower and thumper. Let's see here. Oh, Whoa. That's scary. <laughs> that's the Cheshire Cat. What's in this one? That's all of them. Oh, that's pretty neat. Oh, it's like the layers. It's like Photoshop before there was Photoshop. Oh, yeah. This was an innovation, innovation that Disney came up with was the layered the drawings background? and like the backgrounds and yeah. stuff like that to give depth. Oh. Yeah. Figaro, the different versions of Figaro. Yeah. Beautiful. Someday my prince will go. Alice in Wonderland. Oh, okay. So this kind of goes into total sketches. Two and a half million. Two and a half million drawings for, for one movie? For 24 frames of film Whoa. that are projected every second. It is... No, that can't be right. Oh, yeah, it goes through. <laughs> 460,000 total drawings for uh, an 80-minute long film. Whoa. What is I don't... Oh, and then this is all of the backgrounds and everything added up together. And then that's the total number of drawings. Wow. This is a cool book. Yeah. Oh, look. We can learn how to draw the, the darlings. Oh. That's not the darlings, though. That's the redhead. We wants the redhead. This is showing how to show personality in the way that they animate their walk. That's pretty neat. Oh, Mowgli. Their costumes. What is this? The flying mouse. This is the rabbit and the hare. Huh. This is pretty neat. Yeah, we'll have to like really look at these. Yeah, Lady and the Tramp. There's Cruella. It's pretty neat. Oh, she's scary. Ichabod Crane. Yeah. Cruella coming out with her own live action movie soon. Ooh, Donald Duck. Oh, how yeah, to draw Donald Duck. Duck. Analysis of Donald Duck. If you ever wanted a whole analysis of him, there it is. Yeah. <laughs> the duck gets a big kick out of imposing on other people and annoying them. And immediately loses his temper. I just ordered some Amazon stuff. I don't actually, I didn't just order it. I just received some Amazon stuff that was a way for me to attach the microphone to the top of the camera and still be able to turn it around and talk to the back of the camera like I do with you guys very often. So basically, what I can do is I can take the microphone now and turn it so that it's facing towards me while the camera is facing away from me and then turn it right back around once it's back facing me again i don't know what do you guys think i didn't i don't know what it sounds like when i do that on the microphone it might sound real crazy we're gonna watch walt before mickey and see if we like it i don't know it got two and a quarter stars on netflix so hopefully it's good I don't know. So far, the best line in the entire movie is, I can grow a mustache faster than any of you guys. What? <laughs> so tonight we are having some sausages from the German market and they look delicious and our friends are over and we are going to play one of these board games. I'm kind of excited to try Wise or Otherwise. We've done it before, just me and Jen, but 
We haven't done it with more people and we need more people. Okay, we are here in the dining room. We just had brats and we had like burgers and now we're playing. We're playing Wise and Otherwise, which we played in the vlog a little while back and you guys seem to like it. So now we have enough people to play and we're all gonna play. Should we tell them who everybody is? No. This is... Scott? No. John. <laughs> Jack. Oh. Jack Johnson. Who is it? <laughs> Doug! Scotty yeah. Pippen. So then Matt. Hello. And Kelly. You guys remember Kelly from the race video. You guys loved Kelly. You said you wanted more Kelly. So here is more Kelly. More Kelly. <laughs> also... I just peekabooed. Did you? I did. I was like, there she is. <laughs> Where did she go? <laughs> but now we have enough people to play the game, so we're going to play the game. Are you guys ready? And so. We're, apparently, we're listening to Better in Stereo by Duff Cameron. Live and Maddie? Oh, I don't I was, know who that is. I was hoping that it was Carly Rae Jepsen. I really, 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 really like you. Like I really song. like that song, too. Should we do a Carly Rae Jepsen Pandora? Let's okay. do it. Yeah. So, this is a game where you take old sayings from other, uh, like, cultures, countries, and then you have to finish them. So this one is an old Jamaican saying, when a man has raw meat. And then finish that. Mm -hmm. So we're all gonna write down what we think the ending is, mm -hmm. and then hand it over to Jen, and she's gonna write down the real one. And then everybody votes on it, and then if you pick the right one, I don't know how it works. Like if you guys pick the right one, I win. If you don't pick the right one, I don't win, I guess. So that's- You <laughs> need to put the batteries in. So that didn't okay, turn out as well as we thought it would. No, okay, so I really love this game. But we also I, need... Okay, we need batteries and a screwdriver. Stat. This is like MacGyver right now. But yeah, so we're pl we played one round of the game. We're now going to move on to Uno. We are playing Uno Attack, which is pretty much like Uno, but with Sorry, this... I only have this what does that mean? You don't just just skip. Oh, I just got I skipped. Sorry. Yeah, it's all good. So if you don't have it and you need to draw now instead of drawing... Somebody you down. tap the thing. Oh no, it's it's coming up on my turn. Ah, good. I did have another yellow yeah. I lied, sorry. <laughs> I did it. But you should always get rid There's, of one. Everybody like has a lot of like, yellow. Oh, colors. I have to hit the yeah. button now, don't I? Yeah, you have, I have to hit the button now. I have to attack okay. myself. Yeah. You only hit it once? You get nothing? Yeah. Oh. Oh, that was And that's your turn? That's you your turn. You couldn't play a card, you oh, have to hit it. Okay. You get nothing, sir. Good day, sir. Uh oh. Oh, I got a green. Oh, oh, Doug has to hit it. Oh! Yeah. Wow. Some of them came out and went back in. Oh. Here we go, here's Uno attack. <laughs> so we gave up and we decided to switch over to Yahtzee. And we also found out that Doug has never played Yahtzee. Never ever? Maybe as a I've kid, but I don't Yahtzee IRL. Can we play the automatic bubble trouble thing where you press the dice in the... Bubble, I don't have that game. Sorry, that's sorry. Uh, yeah. No, sorry, sorry. Also, did. Trouble. Yeah, trouble. trouble. We are playing like, Cards or... Against Humanity now, and I can't show you guys no. any of this stuff because it is too like, vulgar. So, a lot of you guys were wondering, who the heck is Doug? So Who's we're Doug? here to say, <laughs> this is Doug. This is Doug. Uh, and you guys are thinking that maybe Doug might be related to Jen. So, Doug, are you related to Jen? No. I like how he said no, but shook his head yes. No. Jen, <laughs> is Doug related to you? Yeah. No, yeah. no he's not actually. So what? you guys were wondering what? how we met. How did we meet Doug? One day I was walking through Diagon Alley. True story. And Doug was sitting on the steps of the stage for Celestina Warbeck. Yeah. True story. And it was his birthday. birthday. And I met Doug. <laughs> So wait, we met you on your birthday two years ago? Yeah. I met Doug. I don't know if you were there. I was there. Were I was you there? there. Yeah, yeah, I was totally there. Two years ago, on Doug's birthday, we met him in yeah. Diagon Alley. It was the time you went up on stage and danced with her. Oh, that's oh. such an embarrassing time because I feel like I have a lot of rhythm, but when I danced with Celestina Warbeck, I was super nervous because she's Celestina Warbeck. And so I had, I lost all my rhythm. Oh. <laughs> Plus you had the glasses on, like you were recording it too, so I think you were trying to like be very like... Oh yeah, I was trying not to like move my head too much. Yeah. What's a fun fact about you that nobody knows? Or that everybody knows, but they don't know? A fact? Like a fun how many? How many like races have you run? Uh, 13 half marathons and one full marathon. So Doug's like run Jen's running partner now. Yeah, we're gonna run the half marathon in January together. 
and Doug ran the 10K <laughs> with Jen. And, and Kelly. And Kelly. Kelly's also here. Remember Kelly? She vlogged. She was the vlogger. She was like the professional vlogger. What's your favorite animal? Doggies. Oh. Who's What's your, your least favorite animal? Dogs. What? <laughs> <laughs> Who's your favorite president? <laughs> What's your favorite Disney movie? Who's your favorite Secretary of State? Right? So wait, what is your Frank favorite? Frank Underwood. Oh, that's what I should have said. <laughs> Claire Underwood. What's your favorite Disney movie? So Disney, I would say maybe probably Hercules. Oh, okay. Oh. All right. All right. And last but not least, what is your all-time favorite Disney ride? Disney ride. Mm -hmm. Any Disney park. It's not Horizons. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, I'm sad now. Probably it's a toss up between Tower Terror and Splash Mountain. Okay. And there you guys have it. You've met Doug. You've officially met Doug. You're all best friends with Doug now. Yay. Yay. What a super fun night we had playing board games with everybody. It was awesome. And Kelly made some buffalo chicken dip, which was so good. It was really, really good. And she actually left most of it with us, so... That was exciting. Yeah, buffalo chicken dip for days. Yeah, and then we had some really awesome, just like grilled stuff. Yeah. And we've got leftovers of those for a long time too. So you're gonna have a hamburger for breakfast. Heck yeah, <laughs> lots of leftovers. That's yeah. the best thing about having like, like getting a lot of food is leftovers. The leftovers are the best part. And uh, we got to play some games that we didn't, that we don't normally play. Like Uno Attack was a lot of fun. Yeah, their version of Uno Attack was different than ours because I think we had played Uno Attack in the vlog before with you guys. Yeah. Their version was a little bit different, so it was kind of cool to see their like full size version. And then we played Wise and Otherwise, which we had played in the vlog before with you guys, but that wasn't really a big hit. <laughs> right. I don't know. I really like that game. The big hit was Cards Against Humanity, which it always is. And we can't always show what happens in that card game because it is a little bit, like, risque and, like, a little bit... It's a very adult game. Yeah. So we're really sorry we couldn't show you more of that game, um, but it was fun. <laughs> yeah. But we had an awesome time with our friends. We also were so excited that you guys finally got to meet Doug because we had been getting a lot of comments asking about who he is and where did he come from, and now you guys know. Yeah. Yeah. But it has gotten really late. Yeah. And I do have to wake up <laughs> early in the morning. So I'm off to bed. Mm -hmm. So we will see you guys tomorrow. And now it's time to pay the price. <laughs>